Hello and welcome back. So, I already did all the side stuff here. So I'm gonna gonna get going. My only my other oh my only thing I would suggest or give feedback is I know this is supposed to feel like some in between worlds kind of feeling because you kind of hear like that whoosh. like as if she's the only one that can see this room or go in this room um my only feedback is that I I wish the controller would vibrate when you leave because it does it when you enter but not when you leave so that's the only issue I thought there would be like a little bit more with the haptics. So far, it seems pretty decent. Um, I'm hoping I would feel a bit more later on. I am getting running haptics, so there is that. I know some updates came out, so I don't know what else got implemented. Um, I didn't bother to read the stuff because I didn't want to be spoiled if there were any spoils in any of the patch notes. Oh, it's like coffee mugs. And is that a cookie or a snowflake? Since I'm using the Oh Dear Diner shirt. Oh, her jacket changed? Oh, I guess I should have waited until I got here. So she just gets an, oh, okay. And then you can just get an all red. Okay. Can I go to Cauldron Lake? So no hidden dialogue. Okay. Oop. What did I choose? So she gets out the same way. Huh. Does time of day effect only go by story? I thought maybe it'd be like more like uh, Deadly Premonition where it just goes kind of thing since I'm able to look around. And it seems I already saved my... saved the dialogue options and stuff. <coughs> Too bad I didn't add another or allow me to put a different skin option where I do wear the FBI jacket kind of thing. This is still buzzing. Is there any way to stop it? Or is it bugged? Yeah, it's off, so... Oh no, I still see the, the warning. But now the lights are not in here, so it's kind of bugged. I don't know. And this is the latest update. So, yeah. Whichever update came out. Because it's uh, Veterans Day today. I'm playing. So, yeah. If you're in the U.S. Um, 
basically 1111. Make a wish. <laughs> the fuck? Oh. Wait, so does that mean they're stronger now? Reload is so satisfying. Jeez. I don't know why I like that reload so much. Maybe because it actually shows the smoke. I'm used to games where it's just like... You just pop it out, kind of thing. It also kind of reminds me of the Doom 2 shotgun reload. The double barrel shotgun reload. Crap, so what did... What did Scratch change with the darkness? I'm getting a bit of like... Um, I don't know how to call it. Where the loading of assets is kind of... Triggering some frame rate... Issues. I didn't have this before. Oh, hope it's not the skin. So when you go deeper, it gets darker. It's like as if this is supposed to still be night. Oh, I felt a bit of the river on the haptics. That was kind of cool. Haptics could be a little stronger when you go up the stairs. Oh, it's a radio thingy. Uh, why is it all dark? Oh, I didn't see this here. Sites. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, 
a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Hmm. So different ways for the dark place to start pulling in. All right. this for the trophy I don't want to get rid of it but you know kind of wish her health was back up you know from listening to Alan's story I'm pretty sure that was enough time to like heal a bit more and does Alan's perks affect her too or is it just specific to each character I mean I would assume that's what it is since because I don't know because I assume sw giving Alan the um, different weapons was you know for that effect but I don't know about character effect but still I should just assume that each their own I'm just used to games where when you do one thing, it changes the other thing, kind of thing. Just like how most games are learning now that you need to separate the PvP from the PvE damage numbers. not thinking uh, that. but then again the overlap is open so of course I should think oh the overlaps open that means the darkness is coming that everything's spewing out right now like we're a ship that's sinking in a way how come that looks like that that looks like it's been wet for s like in the rain. If the other area has an FBC station, is that the way the devs are telling me like, hey, this is still hostile territory? Well, 
So at least me going here found, made me find one manuscript. That's a good thing. I just wish it would tell me um, how many I'm missing because it doesn't tell me. It's not like the first game where it's like, oh, you're missing like this amount. Yeah. That one tells me, but it doesn't tell you where or when. I sure like being around the general store for some odd reason. Forget to use safe havens to hide from enemies and receive healing in combat. That's the only. get anything. Oh. Oh, there it is. I was like, where is my... Okay, and I have another one because of the... Okay, cool. Because I had the deluxe, I was wondering, where was this lantern charm? Adds one charge to Saga's flashlight, which I was like, where is it? I should have had this already. So I'll keep that one. Flare sounds nice, but I'm going to keep it here for now. And then wait for this to break and then use it. All right, I can only carry four at a time, right? Um, there's still that explosive thing I need to do. Um, yeah, it's just, wait, what's this big one over here? Rocket flare, single shot flare inflicts heavy damage in a large area of impact. Huh. For now, I'll, I'll keep everything else though. Because I do like the stagger. I do want to have the health. Um, I don't know what else. Alright. <sighs> 
Sweet. Thank you. Got the trophy for using the explosive. It was a little tough to use. Yeah. Again, why is the light being weird like that? Huh. Is it a performance thing? Like, it'll be bright when it's dark? Huh. Is that supposed to be Rose's poem, or was someone else, like, uh, Cynthia? Ah, he did too. Ass. that trophy even though I should have done better. Oh, you get four shells. Okay. Time to go to watery. <laughs> 